We bought hundreds, possibly even thousands of abandoned storage units over the years, but they've all had one thing in common, and that's that they're here in the United States. We need to buy a storage unit outside of the United States in a foreign country, and that's what we're gonna do this video. Now we're here in Virginia, so we really only have two options, down to Mexico or up to Canada. Mexico, 30 hours away. Canada, 10 hours away. I think we got a winner, and we're about to head north to Canada to buy a storage unit, let's do it. So in West Virginia and Maryland, there's these two indoor flea market type places which could have literally anything. So I figured we might as well go in there and see if we can find anything cool that we can easily flip for money on the road. been in so you guys know we have to go explore this cave and see what we can find there's a little salamander in there yeah, see it. your head i am can <laughs> you stand up huh what are you doing come i can't quite <laughs> So yes, it is a little bit of a tight squeeze. Five right, months ago, I want to pick. <laughs> Uh, this reaction is what we call phosphorescent Ooh. and so it is basically absorbing the energy from this light and it's going to keep glowing. Mm -hmm. Be the freak. Oh no, it's me. Going through the keyhole. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> I want to see. I feel like this is what it's like to be born. <laughs> oh, yeah, good luck. Like a baby deer. <laughs> I made it. We barely survived. I didn't think I would. So that cave we went to, they actually had a gift shop and they had a whole rack of these mystery bags. And you know, we did the only logical thing, which was to grab every single one of them. Starting at a dollar, going up to $5. Let's see what's in one dollar mystery bag. One buck. What do you think's in there? Well, it says Rocks. rock. A diamond's a rock. That could be a million dollar rock. <laughs> You're right. Or it could be a random rock from the parking lot. I'm kind of curious. I feel like we're going to need their help for this. Uh, well, yeah, you guys might have to help me. I didn't think it was going to be taped up. That's probably so we can't kind of feel and see what it is. Oh, true. Let's see, let's see. Open up. Let's see what this first one is. Ooh. This is a glowstone, is what it says. Oh, it at least they're labeled. You see that? No, no, at least they're labeled because I wouldn't be able to tell. It does look like a glow in the dark thing, actually. Like if you got that, it's that color. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. This one. $1.50. Let's see what's in this guy. Maybe we have to see if it glows. We gotta test it maybe. Put it to the test and see if it's false advertising or not. And they're all gonna be wrapped up like this. This makes it a little more complicated because it's so small. I don't want to scratch the rock either. This one is hopefully labeled. Open up you. Open up. This one is a, it's one of those like, what do you call it? Cringy motivational things on a rock. It says <laughs> prosperity on a rock. $2. Fair enough. Mystery bag. $2. $2 <laughs> mystery. What the heck is this? 
Ooh. Ooh. Uh oh. What if they just gave us a joint? <laughs> it's just rolled up like that. Let's see. What the heck is this? Whoa. These are like. You see that? Is it? There's rocks? like little stones and rocks inside that top part right here. Is the bottom like a pen or something? It, it's a pencil. Uh, it's a half pencil and half of it w is just rocks. Like if you were in elementary school right now, that'd be awesome. you would be the coolest kid in the classroom <laughs> with that. I so, have a rock pencil, what do you have? Well, this is another $2 one. It looks similar, but let's see if it's the same thing or not. Come on up, look. Oh, never mind. I thought it would come out the bottom and it doesn't look like it's gonna do that for me. Come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. And yeah, it looks like it's the same exact thing again. Now we'll move on to, we have four $5 ones. I didn't choose these increments, this is just all they had left, so we figured, let's see. Five bucks, did I get a good deal for five bucks? Let's see. Well, let's see. Uh, this one's like really flat, let's see. Open up, ah, uh, there's something is. This one is red jasper, and it's supposed to represent justice. Now let's go to this one here. What's in here? Ooh, little something wrapped up again. Is it all, it better not be the same thing. I swear if I got, oh my goodness. They better not have done this to me. I just got more justice, I swear right now. Oh. Don't you do this to me, seriously. Oh my God. It looks like it's, well at least you know they're actually mystery now. I wasn't lying to you. <laughs> Look familiar? Oh, this one different? Oh, it's different. It's, this one's visualization. So chill, don't jump to conclusions. Red coral, the other one was exactly the same. All right, what is that one? Red, Red coral, coral, but what's at the bottom? Visualization. Visualization. You gotta see it and you gotta visualize it. All right, now can we get one that's not one of those? Let's see what's in this guy here. Open up, open up. Come on, let's see. Oh, this one's different actually. This is Goldstone, Ooh. and this one's Ambition. Nice. See, Ambition, Visualization right here. Justice, yes, we need Justice. <laughs> These two, this is where it's at. My Glowstone actually glows. I'm impressed. I'm surprised you're standing up there. Are you filming me? Well, there's the tower. It's like a sniper tower. Can you walk up there? Looks like it. Oh, sweet. That's a lot of stairs. My brain and my <laughs> eyes are like awesome. My legs and my fat body are like, man. No. Oh, you go through this door right here? Credit card only. Look, 729.23 did not work. This is the kind of thing you <laughs> spent one time and you got 42 charges from <laughs> all over the country. Yeah. That's funny. Can you just push it? I hope so. No. Do we sell oh. that gift card from the storage unit? Yes, we do. Where's that at? Let me, in the car. Let me yeah, go grab it. Try I got a gift card. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Probably just wasted it. Oh, yeah. did I? Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, we got in. You got in front of me. All right, it's a lot. Oh my gosh, it's a lot of stairs. Can you do it? Yeah, I can do it. Go, went up to the top. What are we doing? We found this. <laughs> well, because I figured it would be you. really cool. You're like, what is this? See, what is cheapest love? Oh, heights. That's the one thing he's terrified of. Let's go find a random old tower in the middle of nowhere. You have a decent. You That's know, terrifying. I'm gonna have around a here. All right, let's continue. I'm gonna act like I'm not out of breath. <laughs> I'm not even out of breath because of the stairs. I'm out of the breath because I hate heights. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> All right, one more flight. <laughs> look at that. Mm. Enjoy the view, not the height. I can look off the side. I just height bothering you? Yeah, terribly. <laughs> All right, ready to make me sick? <laughs> We're gonna look over the edge. I'm gonna be really careful with your phone. Yeah, oh don't. my gosh, that's a long <laughs> fall. My hand's shaking holding it over there. Ooh. Are you ready to go down now? Oh, I'm ready to go down. Going down's not a problem. It's going <laughs> up and every time I look over the edge, I'm like another 50 feet above where I was. <laughs> that's the part I don't like. 
Mm. It's so pretty though. Mm. You know, it is beautiful up here. It's definitely worth a hike. It's only three bucks to come up here. It's definitely worth six dollars. <laughs> Do it. Oh yeah, the sketchy card machine. Just, yeah. just try That's it. That's why we use the old <laughs> the old card we found in the store today. So you yep. know what? No risk on our part. Mm -hmm. Whoever was up here with the silver Sharpie, can I just say I agree with you? Take chances right here. Choose to be happy right there. <laughs> Do cool, you know what, who, <laughs> right there. Whoever wrote all that, I agree with everything they said. So we just went in this grocery store to use the bathroom and we bought the most expensive scratch off ticket in Pennsylvania, $50. Let's see if we can hit some money while we're on the road, all right? Let's go down here first. What's our winning numbers? Give us good numbers. 18, 21, 29, 7, 40. Oh, there's two rows of them. 10, 38, 23, 22, and 26. All right, let's see. I've only bought one ticket in Pennsylvania before and I won $400, so I kind of have a good track record. Here, look at that first two numbers, 13 and eight, both of our lucky numbers. <laughs> Neither one of which are winning numbers. For no last spot, come on, come on. Number 20, no. Canada's still a long way away, but we're out here in Amish country, Pennsylvania, and I keep thinking to myself, I don't feel right in this van. We need a more appropriate method of transportation to continue, so let's go do that. So you guys have figured out our transportation for the rest of our trip, right? Oh yeah, yeah we're using a horse wagon, straight Oregon Trail style. Sing it. No. Go ahead. <laughs> Not a witchy cow. She'll be riding six white horses. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Thank you for pulling. <laughs> I'm scared now. There's some big waves coming in. Hey guys, you know, we're just a month early. <laughs> next month, we'll be back for you all. You guys just are kind of screwed next month. <laughs> yeah, next month, I would not want to be you in November. Oh, y'all are pretty though. Look at you your You know what makes it prettier? Huh? I hooked it on my plate. <laughs> Bye guys. through the security, now we gotta go up. So we did the main observation deck, now we're going up 33 more floors to the sky pond. <laughs> He's not having it, but we're going. Should we get in another elevator Why? to go like 300 Why? more feet up? Why? Why? Because it's the sky pod and we have to experience it. No, we don't. I would have been okay without it. <laughs> Not okay. I don't do heights. I don't do heights. <laughs> Never take it for granted again. <laughs> All right, we kept our chips from the restaurant that we just went into, no. and we're feeding them to seagulls. <laughs> Look at them! Oh my god! My 
arm not long enough. He ate it, now he'll be back. <laughs> so Toronto is a beautiful city and all, but that amount of people, those buildings, that quantity of cars, that's not my pace. I can't tolerate that for very long. So we went ahead and left Toronto. We're heading north by Algonquin Park. Get this, Fraser Lake. That's my last name. We're staying at a Fraser Lake place. Who would have ever guessed that? Out in the middle of nowhere. My goal, while we're out in the woods, I want to find a moose while we're in Canada. I am not leaving the woods until I find a moose. So that is our goal now. But first, we gotta hit a grocery store because there's nowhere to eat out here. And then I had to bring that back to the Airbnb. You ready to check out this view? Yes, after the feeling the Look at city, this back here. This is what we needed. Oh, there's a hot tub. Oh, yes. This is the Airbnb. There's the grill. Oh, nice. We have patio furniture. Oh, look down here. Oh. The fire pit. Man, this. This is insane looking. This is what I needed so bad. Like I was so <laughs> tense after driving in the city all day yesterday. Yeah. And it this is awesome. It's beautiful. Watch your step here. Alright. Yeah, let me show you guys the pier. This let me is walk on it first. So cool. Alright. Yeah. Let me test it first. If I fall in the water, then you know it's not good. Watching you walk into the lake like that makes it look like a movie. This definitely feels like a Jason Voorhees scene right here. Like is it gonna come out of the water? Look at the reflection of the sky. Listen, mm -hmm. what do you hear? Just absolute quietness and <laughs> peace. Exactly what I needed. All right, you, what do we get from the store? Well, we spent 180 Canadian dollars. And look, we got eggs in there so far. It's all eggs? put away. What else did we get? I forgot already. It's been like a solid five minutes. This is my chicken. <laughs> this is my mom's strawberries. And then we got salt, pepper, and mushrooms, of course. And then an onion. Onion. Sausage. Uh, bacon. Bacon. More bacon. Some butter. Uh, half a cow worth of beef right here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Yes. Nice. I'm still not used to this whole kilograms, gram things. It kind of confuses me a little bit. Uh, pork chops. You would think we're staying here for a month. We're going to be here for two days. Sausages. We got to eat multiple meat. times a day. Yeah, there's six of us, so we got to eat. Look at all this. Pretty much all meat, huh? Yeah. We didn't get nothing else but meat. Look at this, though. Ten bucks for these. Ten Canadian dollars, by the way. It's only 73% of our money. So this is really seven bucks for a rack of ribs here. And that's what we got. What are you cooking? We're cooking the vegan special, right? We have beef cheddar hot dogs, all beef burgers, and pork chops in the bag. A total of pretty much zero carbohydrates. <laughs> I'm lying about the vegan stuff. I wouldn't eat vegan food. It's absolutely gross. This smells good. You know what's weird? Huh. The hamburger out here. It just says lean, extra lean, medium lean. What is that? We're Americans. We do 78%, 80%, 85%, 90 percent so I had no. We just got lean beef. I'm hoping that's around 80%. That's the best tasting beef. So fingers crossed they come out good. So our master bedroom leads outside and we can get to the window in the living room without them hearing us. So I'm gonna walk to the window, bang it as hard as I can, and let's see if I can scare the living crap out of my mom because that's just fun vacation stuff, right? <laughs> After four different canceled units, we finally found one and we won a storage unit in Canada. Brantford, A18A, I don't even know what that means, if that's like an area code out here or whatever. There's only one guy bidding from Virginia out here in Canada, so I'm surprised we didn't get bid up. But 370 Canadian dollars, which is only like 200 some dollars in the United States. So 
I think we did good. I think we're gonna find something cool. We're gonna go look at it tomorrow. Now that we have a storage unit tomorrow, that's one mission done. The next mission, I said it yesterday, and that is I wanna find a moose in Canada. So we're heading to Algonquin Park. I was about to say State Park, but I guess it's Province Park out here. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but we're gonna find a moose there, dang it. Let's go check it out. Officially made it into Algonquin Park. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but there's a very high probability that I'm not. Now we are on Moose Lookout. If I don't find a moose before I leave this park, I'm gonna be a really sad man. I don't know why. I just think the Canadian stereotypical moose. Like we need I, a moose. I have to see it. I have to see it. We're it's not an option. It. Let's get it. Is that a moose we see from the road? What is that laying down over there? Can you see it on your phone? Uh, let me zoom in. Hold on. That looks like a freaking moose. No, what is that? It is. That's a tree. A pretty, yeah, it looks like the stump of a tree that <laughs> fell over. Okay, failed attempt. We're going back. Look at that though. Welcome to my carnivore restaurant. Today's menu choices are, <clears throat> we have ribs, two racks of ribs in there. We got beef burgers, 100% beef, of course. Italian sausage, zero carb, I might add. And the little cheese cheddar dogs, which do have one carb. That's kind of our bad section up there, but <laughs> we have all this good stuff below on this grill and it smells so good. Something just about the grill in the lake, in the wilderness is just perfect. just left Algonquin Park and now we're heading all the way back to the city, unfortunately. That's where our storage unit is. We're gonna go over there, pay for it today, get a little bit of peek and see what's in there. And then tomorrow we're gonna clean that sucker out and hopefully find some cool stuff. But we have awesome stuff planned for today. Just wait till you see. Check this out. Look how many totes are in this storage unit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten plus plus boxes over there. I think it's gonna be cool. Ponchos on, waiting to get on the Niagara Hornblower cruise to get inside the mist. You ready? I'm always ready. Off to discover the new land. Forward, this is our maiden voyage. We're gonna make it back. We love you all. We're going out here. Look. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're going right into it. Oh my gosh. That's futuristic. Huh. We just paid 320 Canadian dollars for this storage unit. I think it's 73% in the US. Somebody do that math for me. Tell me how much we actually paid for because I don't really know. But let's start opening totes and going through it, right? Yeah. Like this guy right here. Oh, well, there's some, I don't know if these are personal pictures. Are these like celebrity? I don't know. That. Mm. Let's put them over here. They look personal. You think so? Hey, look. 
the 200 family cartoons of Superman on the front. Cartoons when they were good, before they went to whatever the heck we got today, I don't know. Isn't that sealed? Is this? Yeah. Yeah, this is sealed, but it was only a two for 10, so it's $5, oh. but it's still sealed. And this looks like a bunch of DVDs, CDs, just a bunch of media in general. So I mean, if we sold these for a dollar a piece, that would be probably 50 bucks in that tote. Tote number two. Let's pull it out. You see that green box back there too? That, Ew. ow, <laughs> walked in the head by the light. Yes, this is what we did it for. This is why we bought a storage unit in a foreign country because of a fish, right? Fish bag? Right. right. I think it's pretty good. Let's see what else is in here. There's one of those big flashlights. Doesn't work right now. Oh, it does work actually. Look, you see it? Yep. It's just really bright in here, so you can't tell. Other than that, this looks like literally a whole tote full of like linens, towels. What's that? A top to something. There's towels, washcloths, blankets, all kinds of things like that. This tote looks like shorter than the rest. You see that? It's like half the size of these. So I'm kind of curious if this one's different. Eh, it looks a little different. What is this? Birds? Oh no, red bird. I guess I gotta remember I'm not in the US no more. Mm, Probably matches. finding ammo is not gonna be very common. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like matches. Okay, do we have any Canadians watching? Are you guys even allowed to have ammo out here? Like, I don't know the laws. I'm kind of curious for somebody to explain it to me down in the comments, so. Let me know. We got napkins, we got Ziploc bags, a couple of black bags, trash bags. This just looks like really outdoorsy stuff. You got, what is this, mosquito repellent? Yep. Then, there's a little knife. Uh-oh. Might have just found contraband right here. Uh -oh. Found a weapon. What is this right here? That is, let's open it up. Oh, a couple little candles. And then, yeah, not too much else in there, just outdoorsy stuff. So there's a cooler down there, but I think I'm gonna wait on that. Let's keep going through totes because I just like to see what's in them. Oh, this one's heavier than the rest. Listen, that one's a big boy. Oh, that's why, it's books, huh? There's a little February, like looks like a birthstone. What is this, somebody's little planner? Oh, look at all these cards, are they business cards? Yeah, you gotta make sure you don't see gift cards or cash, things like that. What about this guy? Photographs. Yeah, these are photo albums. We'll make sure they get these back. This right here, that's just a notebook. And over here, well, first off, we got that legendary, does it have the, sick. look, it has a sharpener, sharpener in the back. This is what made you the cool kid in elementary school. That's actually fresh, huh? Maybe a little bit used, but not really. And then the rest of it, yeah, this is just all tons of activity books and photo albums. Let's go to the other smaller show here. Ooh, this one's a lot lighter than the rest. Kind of interested to see. Uh, oh, okay, that one's really random. Oh, Dollarama, I guess that's like a Canadian dollar store. There's that. Ooh, we got a jewelry box though. Ooh, something's in there. It, uh, a button? <laughs> a $20 button? Why is that button $20? Somebody explain that to me. That's, that's random, but okay. $20 button. Put that aside. Medication. What's in here? This looks like a bunch of bathroom stuff, huh? Yeah. yeah, a couple of lighters and stuff, bathroom. What else is in here? There's some playing. <laughs> this is a great Canadian invention. It's called the football playing cards, right? Look, I mean, this ain't coming off. Like these are like attached to the hip. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I wish I didn't just do that, honestly. Let's keep going. There's some more randomness. Oh, remember these? These I are what do. the schools hit, handed out when we were in like elementary school for Halloween, a little rings of like skulls and stuff. Ooh, something's in the Crown Royale bag. Let's see. Oh, uh. Brandon. <laughs> okay, I got for you. <laughs> got some dice. <laughs> what else is in here? What are these? Are these incense? And incense. And cards. And cards. <laughs> right here. What else is down here? Jewelry, not really jewelry. It looks more like um, hair clips, hair brush. Yeah, there is something right here. What is that? What's in here, you? That, what do you call these? I forget the name like for them. Like a barrette? Them. Yeah, barrette. Look at the green box. I'm really curious to get in that sucker. What do you think it is? I don't, we'll we'll I, figure I it out in know. a second. But first, let's keep going through totes. Blue tote number, I don't know, I can't count. Uh, oh, well, this one's not gonna be very interesting. This looks like an air mattress. Even internationally, this is required by law. Every storage unit you buy has an air mattress. I thought maybe Canada would be different, but it doesn't look like it. Next blue tote here. Looks like we have three more. We also have a bunch of cardboard boxes too, so that might be different stuff. Let's go into this guy. Maybe let's go into this guy. Maybe this guy said no. Oh, oh, our favorite to find. It's actually October, so Christmas lights aren't bad. Look at this. That look, looks Canadian. Look at all these little mini ornaments that's kind of cool there's like probably 50 of them it just looks foreign to me. it does it does <laughs> like we were saying that when we were driving around we're like it looks so similar to america but there's something i can't put my finger on that makes, makes it, it feel different. different yeah i don't know what it is but oh look at that look at the little angel ornaments right there 
new in box. That's pretty cool. I see some, oh, I see containers. What do you think's in here? Chocolate chip ice cream, yes. That's what we came for. It expired like 12 years ago. Oh, those are cool, they're like little snowballs. Yeah, that's cool. I see another couple metal containers. I don't know if they're decorations or what. Well, first we got these guys. These are just little, what do you call lights. them, things? Are they lights? Yeah, miniature lights. Oh, a dollar for lights? Canadian dollar too? That's 70 some cents in America. That's pretty cheap. What about these? What is this? This is blown away glass studio. Uh, so probably glass blowing stuff. Uh, it looks like some like health potion from a video game, doesn't yeah. it? There's <laughs> that, I'll put it aside. What's in the big metal box? See the metal box down there? Do. Ooh, this one's unmarked. Let's see, oh, no it's not, it's marked on the front. I lied. Party light. It, some flowers. We found that brand in sort of- Yeah, we have. Party. What is this though? What do you think's in the metal tin? Let's Cut. see. Oh, well. Handmade ornaments? Yeah, like some handmade Christmas tree ornaments and things like that. Definitely they look like they're um, hand sewn though. I'm also realizing there's two heavier blue toes underneath all this stuff over here. So that's probably where all the gold's at, obviously. Duh. Let's go. Oh, wow, this one's really heavy too. What is this? Ugh. Okay. It is pretty, very random looking. Filters? Uh, Some type of black bag, I'm not sure. There's something big in here. What is this guy? Oh, don't you fall out all over me. Oh, it's just one of those things that go on the wall. It looked like an air vent or something at first glance. Here's some more personal pictures. We'll make sure they get back with their other stuff. Let's go deeper in here. Oh, randomness. What's in the little purse? Think there could be cash in there? Maybe. No. Let's go into this section here. No. Oh, what is that? Pills! Unmarked pills. My favorite thing to find. And yeah, there's nothing else in there. Let's go down to this side. Whoa, this is a big wooden thing. It's all like paper in here though. See this? Just a ton of paper and a random little envelope. This is where they kept it, huh? Nope, this is a receipt. How much do you think they spent on whatever it is they spent? $102. Man, this receipt's like from the World War II era. Like I can't even read it, it's so dated. I can't tell. Let's go down here. Uh, papers, papers. What about on this side? Come on, there's gotta be something hidden underneath all this stuff. Well, there's their picture. We'll give it back to them. What's this guy? This is just a planner. Hmm. This a wallet? Oh, it's a checkbook. Any cash in there? No, not that I see. I also gotta remember that Canadian money looks very different than US money. So, gotta be on the lookout for that. Nothing here. What's down here? Anything? No. Just files. What is this? What does that say? Can you read it? Uh, NRG pack? NRG pack. That's what we came for. I just wanna explain some irony here to you. So I'm gonna cover their pictures. This is their personal picture. Right? Remember, we're 12 hours from home in Canada. I find this picture. You see where it's taken at? Virginia Beach. What's the chances that Virginians go 12 <laughs> hours to Canada, buy a storage unit, and we find pictures from Virginia Beach? That's that's kind of strange, but kind of cool at the same time. There's one more blue toe here in this row. Oh my gosh, and it's definitely the heaviest. What in the heck is this? All right, let's see. There's a dirt all over it. Ew. Well, that looks... What is that? Uh, it's a millionaire, millionaire, but I think that's French for millennium. Oh, no, maybe it's just a Canadian millionaire. What is in here? What is this, actually? Oh, it's got coins in it. It's actually got money in it. Look. Oh. They done fell out. This is a coin map, actually. Check this out. Look. There's all the different Canadian... Wait, in there, actually? Yeah, these are the coins. There's oh. something in the background, too. Look. Come here, buddy. It's one of these. Look at that. Cool. That was unexpected. That's pretty cool. We'll definitely set this guy aside right here. Come here, you. Let's put him over here so we can get that out. And then what's down here? Papers galore. Oh, what is that? Is that an old disc tray? CD rewritable kit. It's a CD burner. Man, <laughs> that's nostalgic right there. That is cool, actually. Let's keep going. Books. I knew there had to be books in here because the weight of this thing was not light. What's over here? Are these, um, what is another that? One. Oh, another one. Is this another coin set? This says 2000. What was the other one? Oh, I didn't even notice. I think it is. It looks like the same thing, doesn't it? Oh yeah, look at that. A whole Canadian little coin set right there. Cool. These are sick. Those are cool. That's kind of a cool souvenir for an American coming to Canada. <laughs> Let's see. We got a bunch of random papers. This is what it is. Is this Bugs Bunny a jewelry box? Yeah. Look. We're gonna set that right here. I think that might be a jewelry box. Let's I take can't a keep up with first. all the stuff. What? 
Can't keep up with that stuff. I was looking at this. Look, is that a um, signature from someone? It says. Or is that just Rock a gift? on Tim and Karen. Okay. I was maybe it's sure our old neighbor, signature. Karen. Mm -hmm. oh, look, what is this? You see that? You see that golden thing? What New is York that? Stock Exchange, 200th anniversary. That's pretty cool. We're going to put this down here with the coins. This might be the tote we came for. Look at this. Elvis up close. It's just literally up close pictures of Elvis. Someone is just like, wow. <laughs> just looking at Elvis all night. <laughs> Let's go a little deeper. I see more photo albums. There's gotta be more coins in here. I just I just feel it. This right here, that's those Encyclopedia. like Yeah. Some old books. And then it's all books, isn't it? Nah. Nope, all the way to the bottom is books. But we never opened the Bugs Bunny box. Something's in there and it sounds interesting. You ready? Yeah. Well, some personal pictures. These are some this rock is... band stuff. Let's see if I can read it. The Grace Liners. <laughs> I don't know if that's like a Canadian band. I've never heard of them, personally. Then we have some randomness in here. Oh, look, an old thing of sweet tarts. Yeah. Oh, look at it. Oh. Ugh. You want to eat that sweet tart? Uh-huh. Walk your food challenge. <laughs> Go right ahead. Then there's a, oh, that's an Elvis Presley, like, golden record. Cool. I don't know what it is, but we'll keep that. That's cool. These are wet towels, some Tic Tacs. That's okay. And a cigarette roller. Very random tote, but I like this one. Whatever's in this green box is actually sealed shut. Oh, let's see if it says at the bottom. Tri-Leaf Distribution. It still doesn't tell me what it is, so we gotta find out. It just tells me who made it. <laughs> Where's that little knife we just found? I oh, never mind, I got it. Let's see. What's in here? You have a guess? Not at all. Me neither. Uh, another one? Okay, fair. What's in this one? Oh, there's gift boxes. Okay, no, 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 there's something in the middle. I'm telling you, there's like a gold coin once we get there. Okay, we're gonna get there. Okay, we're really gonna get there eventually, I promise. <laughs> I swear. And, well, we got something essential to life. You need oxygen to leave. Live. <laughs> this is like a whole outdoor cooking set. I can see the little skewers and everything. Probably for people to go camping. So that's pretty cool. Let's put it right here. I want to slowly make my way to these totes. Actually, I'm lying. Let's just go to the cardboard boxes first. They're readily available and right here in front of us. Let's see what's in cardboard box number one. Right here. That sounds like metal. Okay. What is that? An old camera? Let's see. Oh, no. It's those slide things that we found before. Taken by an old camera, probably. If we can find the old camera now, that would be cool. Let's see. Personal pictures. We're going to put them down there so they get them back. Some metal. Checkers board. Binders, papers, papers, and just, is that a phone book? Is that what that is? Oh no, this is, it looked like one of those old school phone books. If you know what I'm talking about, make sure you tell me in the comments. Let's go to the next cardboard box right here. What do we got? Boom, uh, well, these are actually very good for shipping. These are unused, aren't they? Yeah, they're those bubble wrap um, shipping mailers. That's good stuff. Then, well, we got a phone, some files. This all looks like office stuff. Yeah, so let's just put this one aside and just grab that other cardboard box and see if it's all just office. If it'll cooperate with me, that's step one. Let's see if this one's office too. Yeah, come here, buddy. This is the last cardboard box. Well, that's all like the phone wires and the cable wires. Yeah, this is all just office stuff. Let's see if ugh, the Coleman cooler has anything inside of it. It's definitely heavy, so it's got something inside of it. The question is what? Okay, we got a stainless steel like an outdoor cup, basically. This stuff, I smell food in here. There's gonna be food. Oh, well, this is silverware. I wonder if there's any silver silverware. No, stainless. You always gotta check, you never know. That's all silverware too. I'm just gonna put that back in here. This is just outdoor camping stuff. Coffee stuff, coffee tin, rope, type your victim. But other than that, just camping stuff. Speaking of all the camping stuff, there's a nice outdoor sleeping bag right there. Nice. Then we got a bunch of just cardboard and wood. I mean, I don't really know why, but let's just throw it to the side. Yeah, come here. Why did somebody keep all this? Why? I don't know. Well, I mean, that I would assume goes to whatever this furniture stuff. It's probably one big that. thing. Yeah. All right. Then this is a looks like a Coleman grill or something. One of those ones you take camping. That's new. Yeah, this has literally never been used. This is a brand new camping grill from the Coleman brand. That's pretty cool. Let's put it up here. And then, is this looks like one of those stoves, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's see. Oh yeah, look, definitely. There's all the propane stove. Propane stove. But now that we've gone through that, we can get to these last two blue totes. I'm kind of curious to see what's in these. Because why? 
do you think they sent these ones somewhere else from the rest? That makes me a little suspicious. Well, looks like it might be because it's outdoor stuff in here. There's cups, there's uh, firewood or something. Charcoal. Charcoal. Oh yeah, this right here is all camping stuff. Well, let's see if that's the case for this one in here. Come on, let's go, let's sneak inside. This guy. Oh, no. Bathroom. This is the bathroom Might stuff. Might be jewelry. Yeah, we gotta look for the jewelry box. I always look for the jewelry box in the bathroom stuff. No. Come on, oh. What's in here? Something's in here. This is, ah, uh, like a bathroom kit. So no jewelry in the tote, and I think all I see left in the corner is a bunch of wood, probably a bed frame or something like that. That's probably what the other wood went to. Since we were on vacation, we figured the fun thing would be to see if we had any local subscribers put a post up and then let them come take whatever they wanted from the unit. Thank you guys so much for coming on. Thank you so much for supporting us, and thank you so much, Canada, for making this a ton of fun.